Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from Stanley Epic Games. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we found out whether our platform, iOS or Android, whether it supports NFC and whether you can enable NFC. And we went through all of that and we were able to figure out that in our emulator does not support it but if we use a physical device we it does support it and if you don't know what i'm talking about go and watch my last tutorial in this tutorial we're going to start uh getting ready to start using tags and that's why i'm bringing this up this is uh the tags that i'm using this is one of the tags that i'm using i'm using like five different tags but this one for this particular video series i'm using this one because i'm i'm actually using this for another project that i'm working on and uh they come in different shapes in different they come in in, in cards they come in paper flexible uh like this one the reason i'm 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 talking about this one it's very inexpensive it's not very expensive the cards can get a little bit more expensive but that's why i'm using these for the to, to talk about nfc and remember there's a difference between nfc and rfid think about nfc being being very near near feel communication near 20 inches uh, or or 20 centimeters actually or less and uh, i we went over this in one of the last tutorials uh so this is but you also have rfid which is a lot further and you and you can use antennas that you can even go further away uh and that we're gonna do in another tutorial series we're gonna go in there in that for now let's just concentrate on nfc so if you want to know what i'm using this is what i'm using okay so this is where we are now in this code and now this is where we want to go this is the my physical device is actually an android device and let me clear the error and basically i'm going to scan one of these tags that you see right there and I'm going to, I have two types here, two different ones, and I'm going to tag them so you see them happening. I'm going to scan no item. So now this means it's ready to scan, and I'm going to do one type. And then you see it here, it says the tag ID. Remember that ID. So now I'm just going to go uh tag one tag one tag one description making it not very just tag storage and then tags uh, no, let's call it uh, books. And then save. And now you save again, save the item. It's, it added to the inventory. In this case, it's books. It can be anything. You can use it for anything you want. And now I'm going to scan a new item. So let's, before we do that, I want to just show you these different screens that we have here. So now, if we go back to where we started, this is the scan screen, one screen. Then we go to return to home. That's a different screen, okay? Um, go to um, scan no item. Let me just do that one, another item. Tag two, and 
then tag two whatever i said last time for watching whatever doesn't matter tags office and then category tags okay save the item when i hit save this is a different screen now if i go into this screen this is the item details screen a different screen if i go into edit the item that's a different screen that's the edit item screen i just want, want to show you the different screens because we're going to be working with the screens if i hit generate reports that's a different screen refresh data nothing changed there much but here that's a whole different uh going with the storage and 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 but what i'm trying to get at there are many screens and that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is how to work with these different screens and then it might take a couple tutorials to go over all of them but that's basically what we're going to be doing because remember we're here right now now we're trying to get here we're going from here to here and that's what we're going to do okay so let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do and that's the wrong one is cursor um what i'm doing here let me just clear this and uh, we don't need to to actually have it running so let's see what's going on right now this is what we we this is where we're going we have this app js which is going to be changed or basically eliminated because we're going to route going into the router export router part so we don't need this anymore but uh, before we talk about that, this is a layout, and I'm going to put a, a layout no. I'm going to do an add item, that's one of the screens, edit item, that's the one of the screens that I just show you. Index, we're going to show, change the one that we have with the no one. Item details is another screen, and reports and scan, those are also different screens so that's where we're going so let's start so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to take this is what layout looks like at this time show doing uh whoops wrong one this is the layout for these so now we're going to go and take this no layout and i'm going to show you all of the code so don't worry about it i'm gonna go in detail and ex explain so we're gonna copy and paste over over it and i'll save and now that's the new layout and we, let's just change them first and then we'll dive into the code so let's go in order add item this is the, the screen so we're gonna change the name to a, a big, real really uh add item so it's not no anymore it's real so we just go add item enter and like i said we'll go into the code in one in a little bit let's just get them all in into our code and then we'll deal with them get rid of the no this is the real thing index this is the old index that we've been playing with this is the new index so we're gonna copy and paste over the old index and then save it 
so far so good and there's gonna be all kinds of errors so don't worry about it item details also rename it get the new out of it save it reports dsx i think that's good and scan dsx that's good and now i'm going to start it and it's gonna get many errors i'm not i wouldn't be surprised so let's do a pre-build to make sure that everything is good that's a good sign not very many errors there now we'll do ios for the people that are following with their ios physical devices this is react native so the code will work um with ios and will work with android but always keeping in mind that the permissions are going to be particular for the for the android and the ios is going to be different of course and we already covered that in, in the past tutorials so you know what i'm talking about so ios hopefully no errors oh wow so wow i'm i'm surprised I'm even surprised even better iOS now let's do let's try Android now so and if it's iOS if it's Android now and now it's going to go on, on my physical device so I'm bringing it here so you see it That's the iOS. Now that's the physical device. It's installing it. Beautiful. So it works right off the bat. So basically, now we're running the app. Not 80% of the app of what I want to create, which is an NFC inventory management. So now it's the big test. Let's see if this app now actually runs. So let's do scan no item. Scan no item. That's a good sign. Let's try it. Let's get close to the tag. And it works. You see the tag ID right there. Let's make sure it works. Quantity and storage, don't worry about it. This is just to prove a concept. Save the item, add it to the inventory. Beautiful, beautiful. So it works. So that's what we're going to do. So it actually is, is the code. We know that the code works. So now, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is dissect the code that made this happen. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. I don't want to make these tutorials too long. And that's why we'll, we'll keep it for the next one. This is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box. Subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.